Hello and welcome to my first time reacting to an artist called uh, Naoko Kawai and this is a song called Jealous Train so thank you again Alan uh, for the support on Patreon and the request um, yeah, I don't have any more context, not familiar with her but uh, she looks cute I don't know what else to say from uh, from the info I have Jealous Train, fair enough I'm assuming as always it's, uh, it's an older song from maybe the 80s, yeah? oh no, released in 2008 no is it really released in 2008? Like the kind of covers like that make me think of 80s idol, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, 2008. I don't know. Maybe it's like a re-release. I guess you'll give me some context. I'm not too sure, but who knows? Okay. Well, let's watch it. Let's see how good of a song this is. Link in the description for the original video. The link to uh, the Naoko Kawaii Topic channel. The link to my Discord if you want to follow me. The link to my stream element. You can tip me to donate to request a reaction. The link to my Patreon. You can support me mostly. Get access to any blocks reaction I can't have on YouTube. As well as request reaction like this one. Let's check it out. Here we go. It feels 80s already. Yeah. It can't be 2008. Come on. Oh, this is so catchy. Wow. Cool voice. Okay. Like this. Yeah. I mean, it is possible, like, you could make songs that sound like the 80s right now, but it really feels like an 80s song. Yes. She looks so like cute innocent, but then her voice is definitely like more of a cool, macho singer voice. Wow. Okay. This feels like some 80s anime opening. Something like Cobra, you know, Space Cobra. Man, the vocals! I said it a few times already, but one thing I've been super surprised with this 80s idol is that it's not just they can sing cute or sing a little bit, it's like they have incredible vocals, like, uh, you know. Sometimes I feel like the word idol might make some people look at some singers like less favorably, but I mean, their vocals are on par with any, like, you know, normal singer, you know, it's like they're just pretty amazing sounding. Yeah. I love the vibe, like, I just love the vibe of this kind of song. But there was also a bit of a bubblegum crisis. I like this part. Don't do something to the sky. <laughs> I love again once again like all the, the kind of like simple like computer noise and button noise that they have like right here in the background left side doom, doom, doom. I, I love that it's like it's so clean it's so clear like um, again not that I dislike modern music you know and modern like um computer sound and electronic noise, but they get much more complicated and all that. Well, you know, those 80s songs, they're like so simple and just so satisfying in the simplicity, you know? I like that a lot. Do you want to there? I really am surprised that poor cool voice sound. Really cool voice, yeah. Wow. Nah, super catchy song. Very catchy. Yeah, yo. This 
I'm just saying this part is not our voice, right? It sounds like someone else. It's all male voice too, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, yeah too. It sounds good with like the echo of the male voice. Not so good. Yeah, I'm guessing this is just a remastered version in this resonator. Ah, the, the coolness she has in this part. Giant trap. It's a good song. There's just so many good elements that makes this flow really great. Yeah. Good one. Good one, good one. Okay, so yeah, I mean I'm sold. I'm sold, I'm sold. Uh, Naoko Kawai. Naoko Kawai. Yeah. Definitely must be a, a remastered version from, from 2008 or remastered or what you would call it. Uh, uh, re recorded or maybe not re recorded. I don't know. Okay. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I mean, again, it's like, um, I've never really dived into it too much, but I always like this kind of music from like some of the 80s anime I've watched. Like, uh, for example, Bubblegum Crisis. You know, it's like uh, a bunch of OBAs. Uh, I've loved the soundtrack, it's a lot of like, yeah, like, kind of electronic and silly pop and a bit idol vibe to the music. And I've always listened to like, uh, the album of OSTs from, uh, from that show. Um, and you know, when like, Maya Takeuchi got really popular with the Plastic Love, I checked out a few, um, like, uh, artists like, you know, Maya Takeuchi, Taiko Onuki. I got really into Aku Yamasaki. Uh, so like, that's a f just very few like that, you know, like, 70s, 80s, uh, um, pop, city pop, and idol vibe kind of music. Um, like, you know, I've really enjoyed this, this, uh, this artist, but I've never, like, dove into it more than that. I always told myself, like, since, you know, like, maybe 2016 it was when my Takeuchi grew up, I always told myself, eventually, I'd dive more into this type of music, because I really liked, uh, you know, those artists. Like, for example, Aku Yamasaki, while she has much more variety than just CD pop, um, I've listened to a ton of her stuff. It's really great. Um, sorry about the burns. Um, so yeah, I guess finally, you know, with this channel, not really something expected, but I guess I'm starting to check out that out. So yeah, uh, I don't thank you again for, for the request. Looking forward to the next two. I guess they will come uh, this weekend. So yeah, looking forward to it. And thank you again for the support on Patreon. Link for everything again in the description for anyone interested. Like, subscribe. Uh, yeah, channel to the coup. And I'll see you guys next time. See you. See you. See you.